see it there. Remember the days you could leave New York, fly over, you'd be in Paris in the morning? Those days may not be far away. In a few hours from now, the world's most visited country will welcome tourists again back from those destinations that are on their gr so-called green and orange list. Now, the Eiffel Tower, however, this is key, will not open until next month. Now, it's part of a bigger post-COVID tourism challenge. Now, in many places, you can see the sites from a tour bus, but you can't actually go inside yet, as several popular spots will be closed even longer than the Eiffel Tower. Now, reopenings have been uneven right around the world. While all UNESCO World Heritage sites in Europe and North America are at least partially open to the public, a majority of them in Asia, as you see there, are still closed. Enrique Ibarra, founder, president, and CEO of City Sightseeing, joins me now from Seville. Spain. Uh, thanks so much for being here. It is nice to see that, you know, France, at least for one, is opening, hopefully many other capitals around the world to follow. Uh, this could still be an existential crisis for you. You have said you guys are really, you know, the masters of reinvention. How are you doing? Well, Salim, okay, good evening here from Seville. And um, yeah, of course, we see in every crisis uh, an opportunity. You know? We lived already three crises. The first one actually was six months after we founded the company in 1992. And actually we created from that uh, city sightseeing. We passed by the crisis in 2008, uh, 2014, the financial crisis. And this crisis, of course, we see opportunities. No, We're going to see new travelers. We're going to see new ways uh, and new uh, the, the demand from the travelers. And that's what I make it a little bit different from what it was before. What's interesting here, though, is the fact that you are trying to engage tourism and those local tourists. I mean, let's face the facts. You know, at worst, you can't get to these countries anymore. And at best, it's a hassle to actually be the kind of tourists that all of us were prior to 2020. It seems to me that trying to engage people locally might be a hard sell. Actually, during this past month in some destinations where we've been able to to develop our service, to manage our service, actually we targeted locals because there was not international travel, not even domestic travel, because in a lot of the country there was regional restrictions. But we have seen the people in their own cities traveling, people enjoying with the activities, the museum, the monuments that they never did before, but this time that they don't have the opportunity to travel other places in the country or abroad, they really enjoy and we really got a very good feedback from travelers and we keep targeting, we will keep targeting to domestic travel, local travelers in their own cities. You know, some people have found being on your buses, as we see there, uh, a great experience, but there have been complaints inside communities. You know, you've talked a lot uh, before about the trends, right? People who are on them want it to be contactless. They want it to be seamless. But it's clear that even the local people in a lot of these cities, and you and I can name them, the ones that are overrun, and the environment is, is a problem right now. They're not sure if this is the way that these cities should be seen. Actually, as you said, that happens, but of course, uh, the travel industry is evolving all the time. Big part and a big trend uh, in the travel industry now is sustainability. And of course, our company have that not only as an appendix of the uh, business case or budget every year, now it's in the center of the business case and development of the company. Actually, we are already involved in projects, for example, with hydrogen, because we see that the future of heavy uh, vehicles, it will be with hydrogen and not electric. So we want to be leading that market. That's why we are starting now to research and be involved in projects like that. Okay, we'll be interesting to see around the world how many tourists actually are back. Uh, appreciate your time. Thanks so much.